when two partners feel really safe in that uh, you know really vulnerable environment, it creates a lot of opening and a lot of opportunity for couples with their sex lives. Hi, this is Peter Kowaki, and today I'm talking with uh, Jeremy McManus. Um, first of all, thank you for joining us, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of it. course. Great to be here with you, Peter. Thank you. So one issue that a lot of couples have uh, is sex. The differences in sex drive, that can mm -hmm. definitely be there. Um, yep. when, in your practice, how do you address that issue? Yeah, that, I think that's a really tough one, you know. I think one thing I like to do is just normalize it and let couples know that's pretty much all of us. Anytime you get married, you know, your husband or wife or whoever you're married to is going to have slightly different, you know, desires and, you know, amount of how often they'd like to have sex or, you know, how often they'd like to explore each other intimately. And so first just understanding it and knowing that it's really common is a really great start. And then, you know, are there some ways in which we can meet each other in the middle? Right. Where I can say, hey, you know, maybe um, intercourse is off the table today, but is there other ways that we could connect and be intimate with one another that would you'd be open to? Or, you know, if, if um, there's one partner's experiencing, let's say, pain or let's say, you know, not a lot of desire, are there different ways that we can approach sex and approach intercourse, you know, slowly and with a sense of mindfulness and with a lot of conversation in a way to get to get us to a place where we're communicating more and you know, exploring each other more and feeling safer. You know, I think when two partners feel really safe in that, uh, you know, really vulnerable environment, it creates a lot of opening and a lot of opportunity for couples with their sex lives. So really it's, it's, uh, it's going from tactic to, to, uh, recognizing the partner, the partner partner's needs. That's uh, it. You yeah. know, it, it, maybe I can't deliver it in the way that you've said we, it needs to be delivered, but maybe there's another way to meet your needs. Right. You know, it may not be intercourse. Maybe it's masturbation. Maybe it's something else entirely. So, but it's about meeting the needs and figuring out and then meeting those needs in a way that works for both people, basically. Well said, Peter. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with oh, me, Jeremy. It's my pleasure. I really appreciate it. I know you're very busy with your practice. Uh, for those who are interested in uh, learning more about Jeremy and his, uh, his practice, uh, or, and maybe uh, even uh, becoming a client of his, uh, they can go to uh, sfrelationshipcoaching.com. That's uh, Jeremy's site where, uh, where you can find out more about his practice. So thank you very much for taking the time to talk with me, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure, Peter. Great talking to you.